From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. At around 4 a.m. on the 31st of August, 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales, died as a result of a car accident in the Pont de la Alma tunnel in central Paris. There were three other people in the car, the chauffeur, Henri Paul, a bodyguard, and the princess's companion, Mr. Dodi Al-Fayed, the son of an Egyptian billionaire. Al-Fayed and Paul died in the crash, which occurred about 20 minutes after midnight. Diana's death horrified the United Kingdom. The princess was enormously popular with the people of Britain, and millions attended her funeral. But amidst the throngs of mourners, some began to question the official story. What if Princess Diana's death was not accidental? Here's where it gets crazy. Given the princess's tremendous popularity and her high position in English society, it's no surprise that conspiracy theories spread across the media soon after her death. But why? There are several claims involved, and the people backing these claims aren't your everyday conspiracy theorist. One of the most vocal opponents of the official story is Mohammed Al-Fayed, the father of Diana's companion and former owner of Harrods. He claims the princess and his son were murdered because they were lovers, and the British royal family could not tolerate the possibility of the two producing a Muslim child, especially Prince Philip and Prince Charles, on whom Al-Fayed places the majority of the blame. Al-Fayed believes that Henri Paul plotted with the British royal family to kill Diana and Dodi. Al-Fayed also claims that Prince William may believe there's more to the story. So how do these claims hold up? In December 2006, Lord Stevens, the former head of Scotland Yard, concluded Operation Paget, an inquiry into the deaths. The report found no evidence of conspiracy. Yet Al-Fayed has not given up the fight, and he is not the only one who suspects foul play. In fact, Princess Diana herself contemplated the possibility of her murder. According to British paper The Telegraph, the princess sent a letter to her butler, Paul Burrell, in 1993, saying, my husband is planning an accident in my car, brake failure, or serious injury. Originally, the investigations found that the driver, Henri Paul, was intoxicated at the time of the accident, and that his erratic driving, along with the actions of nearby cars caused the crash. Yet reports of his intoxication have also come into question, leading some to claim Paul's blood sample was switched with that of an unknown suicide victim. There are numerous other allegations of conspiracy, including everything from claims that Dodi Al-Fayed was the target to rumors that Princess Diana was either pregnant or faked her death. Yet of all these ideas, the theory of royal involvement is the most well-known, due primarily to the efforts of Mohammed Al-Fayed. He financed a film about this conspiracy called An Unlawful Killing, which premiered at the Cannes Film Festival in 2011. Due to British laws, this film will likely never be shown in the United Kingdom. More than a decade after the tragic deaths of these three people, questions remain. Is this simply a case of tabloids latching on to lurid stories because they sell? Or, as Mohammed Al-Fayed and others claim, is there something the British establishment doesn't want you to know? In this world, there is nothing certain save death and taxes. You've probably heard that quote attributed to Benjamin Franklin or Mark Twain or any other number of people, but it's at least half true.